Hello Year 8, I hope this video finds you all safe and well. I'm doing this video today to talk to you about transition. Um, I've been talking to you on your virtual tutorials about transition and starting to give you some information. And I know that some of you are very excited, some of you are a little worried, uh, but most of all you're definitely talking about it. And those of you that have been in the virtual tutorials will know that we are starting those conversations with you about what transition will look like this year. Now, we know that it's going to be a little different than we had planned. There isn't going to be the opportunity for us to go to the William Parker campus to have a look around and to have sessions there, unfortunately. But I want you to know that we are very conscious of how hard transition can be and we want to make it as seamless as possible for you. So today I'm going to give you some information about what transition will look like. So as you know from the tutorials, and thank you so much to so many of you being there, and please, those that haven't been part of a tutorial yet, please come on board because you are getting lots of information now in those tutorials. So I have announced that I will be remaining your head of year, moving into year nine which means that I will be travelling to the William Parker campus with you. And I'm really excited about having another year with you, about the fact that we've already started our journey together. I already know you all, I know so much about you, and I'm hoping that that will really reassure you that you've got a familiar face coming with you to share the transition journey. So you are likely to find out in the next couple of weeks about who your tutors will be. And I can tell you that you will remain in your tutor groups with the students that you've been with all year. I think when so much is changing, it's really important to keep some things the same to help you to feel safe and secure. And so I've made the decision that your tutor groups will stay the same. But obviously that you have to have a tutor who is generally based on the William Parker campus as though your tutor may change. Now, the aim is for us to be able to tell you who your new tutor is and for you to have some virtual tutorials with them before the end of the academic year. Now, as we know, transition can be a worrying time, but I have to say, you have all impressed me so much over the last three months with your perseverance, your determination, the resilience that you have shown. And, and I say that for all of you, you have been absolutely fantastic and have coped with more than we could ever have imagined. And those skills that you have learned are life skills and they will see you through any big change that you have in your lifetime. So we know that you are already partly prepared for another big change, but please don't think that we're underestimating how difficult that change might be. Your tutor will, of course, be a main point of contact through, for you throughout transition, and they will be a huge part of the pastoral care that we give to help you to make that transition. Obviously, we've said there's also head of years, so I'm coming with you, and there are also other departments within the school who will be able to help you and support you, including Place to Be, our fabulous SEN team, um, and, and really every member of staff, of which some of them will already be familiar to you. So the things that we are looking to do, because we can't have our sessions on the William Parker campus, we are organising a video tour for you so that you can see around the campus, get to know it, make it sure it's a little bit familiar to you before you start. Um, and we've got the wonderful Miss Madziva and Mr Clark who are helping to bring that into reality for us. We've also been working hard on a booklet to give you some really vital information about your transition and what the William Parker campus is like. And I've also been talking to students and parents asking what questions you have so that we could put together a frequently asked questions document as well. So they are all on their way. So we are now looking to start to become familiar with the site, start to build up, and it may be that some of you are invited to come onto school site as soon as we are possibly able to, those that we think perhaps might struggle to transition more. But obviously we are still at the mercy of the government guidelines and what they put in place. But please, if you have any concerns whatsoever, please reach out within your weekly calls, please reach out to your current tutor or even to me as head of year. You can email me or call me 
d.hodgkin at arcalexandra.org. And please let me know if you're worried so that I can provide you with as much support as the team possibly can. In terms of options, we wrote out to you at the end of March and we informed you that we are moving to a two year GCSE programme. So your year nine curriculum will be a bridging curriculum between Key Stage 3 and GCSE. And actually, I think that's a really positive thing that we're doing around this time. And it gives you more time to consider your options and what you would like to study for your GCSEs. So the challenges that you may face. Challenges, you're going from being the oldest students on campus to the youngest, and that is a big step in itself. There might be students that you haven't seen for quite some time over the last year, and you'll be mixing with different groups of students. You might have worries about that. You might be really excited about seeing some of your friends again. We are here to support you through every single step. Now, the bus systems at Helenswood, as we know, are oh, fantastic, actually. You have a huge number of buses and you may find that at William Parker that is reduced. However, it's nearer to the town centre and so buses, you can get the 26 into town and you can then be supported from the town to various other places in the town uh, from the town centre. So please do keep an eye on Stagecoach. They are changing their routes and guidance daily in light of coronavirus. So please do keep yourself informed and ask us if you're having any issues at all. So new staff, you may, as I say, find some familiar staff. You might find people that you haven't seen since the timetable change in February. But I can assure you, having worked across these schools for the past few years, that every single member of staff will be there to help and support you. They will be kind, they will reward you, they will recognise the excellence that you show. And really, you already know what our expectations are. They haven't changed just because we're going to the William Parker campus. So please remember that you are using the values of faith, excellence and kindness to determine how you behave and how you study. And the more that you can do to meet those expectations, the better you will do. I'm now going to hand over to Owen and Isabel, who have been our current head boy and head girl in year 11 at the William Parker campus, to just share a couple of messages with you. Hello year nine, my name is Owen, and I'm the current head boy of Arc Alexandra. And my name is Isabel, and I'm the current head girl of Arc Alexandra. Welcome to the William Parker campus. You may, be, you may feel like you're starting in year seven again, as you transition from the Hellenswood campus to the William Parker campus, especially the girls. However, we would like to reassure you that the William Parker campus has the same feeling and atmosphere as the Hellenswood campus does. Luckily, many of the staff members you have developed relationships with on the campus teach over here too, and you have the opportunity to create more relationships with them. We also have a student council on the William Parker campus, allowing students to still communicate with senior leadership with suggestions on how to improve the academy. We have the same expectations on this campus as you do on the Hennenswood campus. We follow the key values of Arc Alexandra, faith, excellence and kindness. We expect hard work from all of you. The expectation on behaviour remains the same as you transition from the Hellenswood campus to the William Parker campus. We expect the best behaviour from all our students to ensure that learning is not being disrupted and at its highest level all the time. Also, also to mention the reward system where students who go above and beyond will be rewarded for their hard work and Attendance is also key to success. You should aim to be in all day, every day, to ensure you get the most amount of learning time possible. The higher the attendance means less content is being missed. You're also embarking on a new adventure in your education, GCSEs. And what an adventure they will be. It won't be easy, but if you're determined and hardworking, you're destined to succeed. We hope you have a great transition from the Hennessy campus to the William Parker campus and enjoy the next few years. We wish you the greatest luck and success as you go through this journey throughout the next few years. With the support of every staff member and your friends, you're all going to have a very positive experience. So Year 8, that's it from me for today. I hope that this video has helped to answer some of the questions that you have. And of course, there are the other documents still to come to support what I'm saying today. But the biggest message that I can give you is please ask for help. If you need anything at all, if you're worried, 
No question is silly. There isn't anything that's, that's too small for us to answer. We want to spend this time preparing you so that we can have a fantastic start when we return to school at the William Parker campus. Thank you, everybody. Stay safe and well.